with y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that run. I hope that y'all staying safe and protected. I hope that y'all staying out of trouble, staying out the way, and just getting to what God has for you. And I hope that your relationship with the Most High is getting better as well. Now, today's message, I just want to discuss about teaching children the Word of God, teaching the children about prayer, teaching the children the Bible and the way of life and spirituality, and teaching our children how to function in this crazy world. You know, it's back to school session, so children are getting ready to go back to school in different states or counties or what have you throughout the country and throughout the world. Um, In certain places, school starts in August, and in certain places, school starts in September. But all in all, it's back in time. School's back in session. And, you know, most parents, they have to work all the time. And they have to really uh, do a whole bunch of things to provide for their children and take care of the house and business and all types of different things. So they have to just put their kids through the school system. And things happen where they may. You know, some children are into extracurricular activities. Some children are scholars, you know. So different students go through different things within that schooling system. But us as people overall, especially more experienced older people, it's important to really be Um, knowing what your child's being taught in school, you know, because sometimes children could get misinformation, false history, indoctrination. Um, They just learn things that's not really fruitful and according to their future and things that's going to actually help them. A lot of times these curriculums and the school board and, um, you know, these types of things don't really help the children in the long run. You get what I'm saying? And you as a parent, if you have a child or multiple children, it's important to teach them in the way of God, to teach them to walk in Christ, um, to teach them about praying and baptism and stuff and things of that nature, because the devil loves attacking the youth. The devil loves going after children. You have to understand that because even the enemy knows how precious children are, how innocent they are and how much God loves them, and has mercy on them. So a lot of times the devil likes to you know, kill, still and destroy. So the devil likes to cause confusion, cause chaos. He likes to uh, figure out ways he can have his influence on children, whether through the music or pop culture or television or what have you, or even in these school systems for that fact, you know, um, things happen. A lot of kids go through crazy, different traumatic situations growing up. Um, you know, some kids deal with bullying or, you know, weird different types of things throughout their upbringing in school. And this is why we can't just trust the school system and this educational system to lead our babies the right way. It's on us to teach our children the right way. It's on us to teach our children about God, the Bible, respecting people, um, preparing for our future, having discipline, earning things, working for things. We have to teach our children that um, you can't spoil your children and you can't provoke them. Um, a lot of children get spoiled and provoked throughout their upbringing And it causes a lot of bad results in the long run. You get what I'm saying? Um, The thing about parenting and teaching is that you don't want to be too strict, too overprotecting. You don't want to be too cool or too laid back because most parents are kind of like that. Most parents can either be very extremist and super paranoid, super protective, or they tend to be very laid back, kind of friendly, a bit like a daisy. And then sometimes those things produce bad results. Um, with us as parents, I don't. I'm single with no children. I don't have no kids, so it's not. It's really not on me to really tell people how to, you know, raise their kids. I'm just saying from a biblical standpoint, from a spiritual standpoint, um, the Bible does talk about how you should train up a child. It does talk about parenting. It does talking about not provoking your child. Um, it does talks about how children should honor their parents, obey their parents. That's a commandment that doesn't get talked about enough, but. Things get tricky because some children grow up in traumatic households. Some children grow up in toxic environments. So it's very hard for a certain child to obey that when their circumstances don't align with that. You get what I'm saying? And there's also many foster children, children that's raised by their grandparents or um, raised by their cousins or aunts or what have you. You No, different things happen with different children. Everybody doesn't have that sitcom TV show type of family. Everybody's family situation is different. All in all, though, all in all, if you're a parent and you're teaching your children, you know, you got to have fun with them. You got to let them make a choice for themselves. You got to discipline them. You got to correct them. But don't provoke them. Don't be overbearing. Don't be abusive. 
Don't be manipulative. You know, don't be passing on that trauma to your child. Don't pass on generational curses to your child. You know, Um, you want your child to be the best they can be, not just for you and not living your life through that child or selfishness, but just for that own child's sake. You know, so the things that we teach our children can make or break them. The way we carry ourselves in front of children can alter their outlook on themselves and like us and life as well and their behavior. So we have to be very careful and delicate on how we carry ourselves around children, the examples that we set ourselves, um, the environments that we're placed in. All those things matter, okay? So with with school back in session, I'm pretty sure a lot of parents are happy to just have their kids back in school because, you know, children can be a lot energy-wise and expensive. So parents are getting a little relief by putting their children back in school and whatnot. But at the end of the day, you still want to teach your child important lessons in life that could help them, you know, teaching our boys how to be men, how to be strong, how to be responsible, how to be disciplined, how to be compassionate, you know, how to handle things correctly. You know, we got to teach daughters how to be respectful, how to have honor, you know, how to care for things, how to not um, get too caught up with stuff. You know what I mean? We got to, you know, children are sponges, man. They're delicate. So we got to really teach them the right way. Okay. So what I would love to do is just read some scriptures that talks about these things and just go from there. All right. So here we go. The book of Exodus, chapter 13, verse 14. All right. Let's see. Hold on. Okay. The book of Exodus, chapter 13, verse 14. And it shall be when your son asks you in time to come, saying, what is this? Then you shall say to him with a powerful hand, the Lord brought us out of Egypt from the house of slavery. The book of Exodus, chapter 13, verse 8. You shall tell your son on that day, saying, It is because of what the Lord did for me when I came out of Egypt. And the Old Testament talks about how parents were raising up their children in that Israelite culture and telling them the history of it and obeying God and things of that nature. That's the Old Testament of it. So let's see. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 10. Remember the day you stood before the Lord your God at Horeb. Horeb, when the Lord said to me, assemble the people to me, that I may let them hear my word so they may learn to fear me all the days they live on the earth and that they may teach their children. Mm -hmm. The book of Psalm 78, verse 4. We will not conceal them from their children, but to tell the generation to come to praise the Lord and his strength and his wondrous works that he has done. The book of Psalm 48, verse 13, consider her ramparts, go through her palaces that you may tell it to the next generation. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 46, he said to them, take to your heart all the words that which I am warning you today, which you shall command your sons to observe carefully, even all the words of the of this law. The book of Psalm 145, verse 4. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. The book of Psalm 78, verse 5 through 6. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should teach them to their children, that the generation to come might now, might know even the children yet to be born, that they may arise and tell them to their children. So with Israel, with Israelites, we always pass down generational blessings. We pass down the law, stages of commandments. We always pass down the teachings of God and the law and the covenant of the, uh, what have you. So um, that's how the patriarch went with Israelites. We always pass things down to our children, whether it was wealth, our relationship with God, the covenant, the Israelite culture and customs. We always pass that down to our children. Um, the problem is when our forefathers, you know, rebelled and straight away from the most high, all of us got scattered. So all of us are here on earth now, scattered all four corners of the earth, coming back to the most high, coming out of Babylon and relearning about the covenant, relearn about the most high, coming back to his word and come back to who we actually are as people. So, yeah, like Israelites always passing down to our children. You know, that's why God said to be a fruitful and multiply, because it was a forever generational thing. It was forever blessings, eternal blessings, um, a forever covenant, a forever relationship. OK, so got to always keep that in mind all right now let's see Hmm. hold on the book of psalm 145 verse 4 one generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts the book of psalm 78 verse 5 through 6 
For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should teach them to their children, that the generation to come might know, even the children yet to be born, that they may arise and tell them to their children. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 21. As for me, this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. My spirit, which is upon you, and my words, which I have put in your mouth, shall not depart from your mouth, nor from the mouth of your offspring, nor from the mouth of your offspring's offspring, says the Lord from now and forever. The book of Exodus, chapter 10, verse 2. And that you may tell in the hearing of your son and of your grandson how I made a mockery of the Egyptians and how I performed my signs among them, that you may know that I am the Lord. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 9. Only give heed to yourself and keep your soul diligently so that you do not forget the things which your eyes have seen and they do not depart from your heart all the days of your life. But make them known to your sons and your grandsons. The book of Joel, chapter 1, verse 3. Tell your sons about it and let your sons tell their sons and their sons the next generation. The book of Joshua, chapter 8, verse 35. There was not a word of all that Moses had commanded, which Joshua did not read before all the assembly of Israel with the women and the little ones and the strangers who were living among them. The book of Second Kings, chapter 12, verse 2. Jeho Jeho Jehoash did right in the sight of the Lord all his days in which Jehidia, Jehoiada, the priest instructed him. So in that royalty time, in that kingdom of Israel, the dynasty of Israel, um, kings were always passed down too. Like royalty was passed down, wealth, inheritances, blessings, all of that. So it was always important to teach your children royalty too, to teach your children that you are treasure, that you are royalty in the most highest eyes, okay? We have to teach our sons and daughters that they're royalty, all right? We can't just teach them that they're the human race and they're just humans. I Maybe mean, we got to teach them that they're royalty, okay? they honorable, the most high honors us. You know, he, he treasures us for your royalty, okay? So we got to pass that to our children too. You can't pass down insecurities and self-hate to your babies, man. You got to pass down that love and royalty too, okay? Let your children know how special they are, okay? You got to pass that down to them, you know? Let's see. The book of Psalm 34, verse 11. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. The book of Psalm 80, 78, verse 5. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers, that they should teach them to their children. Mm -hmm. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 1. My son, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. Hey, hello. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 20 through 21. When your son asks you in time to come, saying, what do the testimonies and the statutes and the judgment mean? which the Lord our God commanded you, then you shall say to your son, we were slaves to Pharaoh in Egypt, and the Lord brought us from Egypt with a mighty hand. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 19. You shall teach them to be to your sons, taking, talking of them when you sit in your house and when you walk along the road and when you lie down and when you rise up. The book of Proverbs chapter 1, verse 8. Hear my son, your father's instruction, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. The book of Isaiah, chapter 38, verse 19. It is living. It is the living who gives thanks to you, as I do today. A father tells his sons about your faithfulness. Yes, yes, there you have it. Okay, that's the scriptures and the word about teaching your children about God, the history, the covenant, the laws, the commandments, the truth, baptism, Christ, the teachings of Christ, the gospel, love royalty treasure eternal life heaven hell the enemy you know we got to teach our children all those things we have to teach our children the good bad and ugly the reality of things okay we have to teach children how to pray you have to teach children the bible teach them the word of god okay and don't just be throwing it at them you know break it down for them you know get get them rolling in it okay don't just throw it at them make them get a feel for it while they're young you know Baby steps with the Bible, baby steps with the word of God, you know, pass that on to your children, teach your children about repentance, teach your children about spiritual things, about holiness, teach your children about the goodness of life, teaching your children respect, how to treat people, how to handle situations, how to hang around the right people. You got to teach our children all those things. OK, a lot of these children are very misguided, 
very unloved. You know, they don't have a lot of attention. They don't have a lot of people that look after them and care for them. There's a, there's a lot of neglected children. There's a lot of traumatized children. There's a lot of left out children out here, you know. And, you know, even if you're not a parent, somewhere out there you are. Because there's a random child probably out there wants some wisdom from you or wants some guidance from you, wants some mentorship from you want some advice for you or from or some positive uh, words for you you know there's a lot of vulnerable children we have to teach our children the right things even if they're not our children it's our duty to always look out for the young ones and to care for the youth care for the elderly care for the ones who are have disabilities we gotta, we gotta care for everybody and everything okay anything within our reach we have to help people you know what i'm saying we are so everybody is so anti-social and so robotic and so like negative, we lost a sense of what real community is and how to treat people, how to respect them, how to look after each other. That's a lost art. Everybody's such a narcissist and just looking after themselves. We neglect things that's right in front of us. We have to have we have to care about things. We have to care about people. Okay, we have to care about the youth because they are under a whole lot of attacks, bro. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are, man. These children are getting influenced. In so much different ways, these children are growing up super fast, bro. We have to teach them the word. We got to teach them how to slow down. You know, we got to teach them how to embrace their youth and enjoy their life. But we also have to teach them important, powerful lessons, okay? We can't have our children making bad choices and going off the wayside. We got to, you know, train up our children right. You know, it takes a village, okay? So let's all be hands-on with this, okay? Let's be good parents, okay? children need so much things man they need love attention guidance discipline they need a lot okay that's our duty okay we gotta make them keep the word okay we gotta train our children we gotta discipline them okay the most high is very strong on family he's very strong on relationships he's very strong on community he's very strong on interactions with people in the bible no person was just left all to themselves everybody was interacting with everybody everybody okay let's not forget that all right god is community minded always remember that god is always about people bro you got to remember that all right god is very very watchful of children okay he's the maker he's the creator he puts them in this world and we are in some crazy times out here we are in the last days we're in the end times so we have to really train up our children to the lord in prayer okay so that's the message all right so what I would like to do as we close out, you already know the vibes. We're going to give all the glory to the Most High of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and praise his son for dying for our sins. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. So here we go. He is the Adam, the advocate, the almighty, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, hallelujah, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, the faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the firstborn from the dead, the firstborn over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, the holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, the Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, the king of Israel, the kings of kings, and the Lord of lords, king of the saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Ahai, Yeshai, Yeshua, Mahamashim, Shalawam, Barakatha, Shalom, our righteousness, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, 
the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection in life, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the way, the truth, and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word, hallelujah, amen. Yes, yes, we serve an awesome creator, and his son is amazing for dying for our sins. And there y'all have it, people. That's the message for today. Let's teach our children the right way. Let's teach our children how to walk in God. Let's teach our children to have faith. Let's teach our children to be strong and resist the enemy. Hallelujah. So there you have it. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized. You start your life over for the most high. I pray that you have new beginnings and a fresh start. I pray that things go in a good direction for you. I pray that you teach children around you the goodness of God and to teach them to give most, the most high all the glory. I pray that we teach our children how to live right and do better, okay? I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.